Welcome back to Mycology Exploration, and we're here in the kitchen. We've had so many questions about our tubs and the process of the tubs, and whether we're growing medicinal or gourmet mushrooms, we use tubs. And I just wanted to share with you why. And it's mainly because of this flush, this floating process in between the harvest or the fruiting, the growing. And we get three to four flushes. So this cake actually fruits for us three to four times. And we use a purified clean water in between to flush or float it for 24 hours. So once we harvest all the mushrooms, gourmet or medicinal, off the top, then we, again, pour the filtered water. And this cake is actually flipped upside down. So when the cake begins to shrink and pull away from the, top, the sides of the tub, it gets smaller and smaller which eat, with each fruiting and each flush. And so it's easy to just flip it right upside down. And we just make sure that our tubs remain incredibly clean and sterilized. And this one is again flipped upside down and we do this for 24 hours. Some types of mushrooms tend to get soggy and they don't like 24 hours. And some, you can go over 24 hours with this floating or flushing process. So again, these are the tubs that we use. It's easy to flush and float them between the fruiting, the harvest. And then this is what our tops look like when we're fruiting. So when we're in this flushing, floating process. We just pop the original storage top lid on, and then we take that off, which I'm about to drain all of the water out. I just put gloves on and alcohol those gloves. I just hold one side of the cake as I pour out the water into the sink. And then I will replace it with the fruiting top and I will mist. I will mist this fruiting top with my mister with purified water. And I'll be back to fruiting. So again, when your cake originally colonizes, you get fruits. When you harvest those, you can float them, flush them in between. And again, we get three to four different flushes with each cake. And it requi requires a really clean, sterilized condition to get this many flushes, but it's really worth it. So this is why we use tubs and this is what they look like. These are the air holes, the air exchange. And I really hope that this answers your questions and provides you with an example, a how-to for you. It's just what works for us. We know a lot of people use bags. And as a matter of fact, when we grow lion's mane, we use jars a lot of time. So jars and then even baskets and tubs outside for oyster mushrooms, for sure. It's just much easier for us to grow the gourmet indoors so we don't have any problems with the animals. Squirrels are a problem in the garden. And so it's just, it's just easier and they're tastier when we grow them inside. Much love, friends. We'll see you in the next video.